Greenlee family, Gerald Greenlee here with Clean Green Lawn Service in beautiful South GA. Hope y'all are having a great day. Um, out doing another bid. Got to go look at a uh, deck. This is not a demo and replace, at least not completely. Sounds like they need some, this is what they think they need. Uh, bracing and new deck boards. So it'd be tear out the old deck boards, brace it up, and put new deck boards down. So now that's what the customer's thinking. Uh, you know, I get a little bit nervous when people start talking about bracing. Uh, don't know how high this uh, deck sets off the ground or anything like that. When I think about bracing, I think about one that's sitting up high. Uh, so I don't know if that's the case or if, uh, I just don't know. Uh, so I gotta go over here and look at it, put my eyes on it. Uh, I did. Uh, they sent me the size of the deck, told me uh, the dimensions, and I shot them out a ballpark figure on tearing the boards off and replacing the boards. Told them, I call it a guesstimate. I tell people, here's a guesstimate. Can't hold me to it. Uh, just trying to get in the ballpark, man. Uh, this is horseshoes and hand grenades that we're dealing with when we talk about guesstimate. Uh, trying to really just throw out a price, uh, just like I said in the video quoting, uh, you know, doing that laundry room, that hey, this is just, this is an idea. Uh, you know, when you get on big projects like this, it can be another thousand dollars on top of that. Uh, when you get the actual, uh, on the guesstimate, I genuinely try to give a price a little bit higher than what I think it's going to be at first glance. Now, I don't go too high, so I don't look at a project that I guesstimate to be a thousand dollars. I might say, well, you, you're probably in the ballpark of twelve hundred. I don't say you're in the ballpark of two thousand because I don't want to just completely turn people off and go, this guy's lost his mind. Although, when I get to investigate and we run into other issues uh, that I might see in the process of looking at it, it could be 2000 right? You know, I, I don't know, but a guesstimate, a guesstimate. So, I gave them a guesstimate. They said, okay, sounds good. When can you come look at it? And uh, so, here we go. I'm going to look at it. So, not sure exactly where I'm going, to be honest with you. Uh, looks like I got 1.3. 1.2 now more miles to go then I got to go through a gate put a code in and first house on the left gated community man it's out in the country though <laughs> I don't think it's that kind of gated community but it's probably a you know, uh, you know it's, it's probably a nice place I think that this is more farm area where people live on land and they don't want just anybody driving down their private access. And so a lot of people here put gates up with a keypad. Um, so anyway, that's what we got going on. Uh, I do know that the, uh, the, uh, the wife is the one that contacted me. The husband is at home. I do know these people, um, but I don't know that I'll be able to run around out there with a recorder. Um, so, you know, on their property, man, that's a pretty house back up in there. But, uh, anyway, I'll definitely go look at it, pull some measurements, and, uh, and, uh, you know, I'll check back with y'all, kind of get y'all the scope of the work or whatever if I'm not able, uh, to do any video while I'm there. May, may pop a couple of pictures and plug them in or something, so check back with you in a minute. Undertaking uh, ain't no problem, but I'd be very surprised if they want to drop the kind of money you're talking about on that. Uh, back before I left, that deck ends up being about eight by forty. Um, 
which, you know, 320 square feet or so. Um, but I mean, the handrail's got to be replaced. All the decking boards got to have a beam built to go under it to support the middle. Uh, there's just a lot that needs to be done. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I recommended to them before I left based on what they've been using it for is to scale it back and make it smaller and uh, you know just not be so big uh, I mean because they got a they got a deck on the front and back of the house the deck on the front of the house is screened in uh, they got lounge chairs all that kind of stuff out there on it and uh, that's the one where they sit at. The back one doesn't have a roof, uh, doesn't have, you know, obviously not screened in. Uh, there's no chairs on it, which is in bad shape, so I could see why they wouldn't be sitting out there. And they may want to use it to sit on in the future. If they do, we'll fix what's there. Uh, if not, we'll, uh, you know, scale it back so I'm on uh, I'm on, I got the info uh, I'm gonna give them a price on it and uh, you know we'll just kind of see we'll kind of see what they decide but uh, man I mean I, I, I'd have to uh, put some new post in uh, it's uh it's just going to entail some work. So, some labor and material, obviously. But we're going to see what they uh, decide they want to do. I said, look, man, all I can do is shoot y'all a price over. And, you know, we'll go from there. If you want the whole thing done, I'll give you the price for it. If you decide you want to scale it back some, then I'll give you a price for that. And that's pretty easy to do because basically... What I'll do is figure up the price for this deck at its current size and, you know, 360 square feet. I'll divide the price by the 360, figure out my square footage price, which I kind of know about what it's going to be. But, um, and then if they decide we only want 200 square feet of deck, then I'll take that same price per square foot. And, and maybe add just a tad to it and and say okay for 360 it's this much for 200 it's this much and it's that simple then we can keep working with it after that but uh, anyway hopefully that makes sense to you if not I'll get Z-Man to explain the math to you uh, but anyway I'm headed back to the house now uh, got a landscaping some pine straw to go take care of so I'm probably going to go ahead and do that this afternoon get it out of the way uh, if I do I'll probably shoot y'all a little bit of footage over there you've seen me put down a bunch of pine straw so that's nothing new but uh, anyway that's what I got going on today and so I appreciate y'all taking the time to do this little ride along uh, with me and uh, appreciate you watching the video my prayer for you is always the same that the Lord 